2006 Lamborghini Murcielago. I'm gonna just go over it real quick and show you all the flaws. We'll start up here at the front. Oh, let's start with the wheels. So you get the wheels. You can see there's a little bit of uh, the clear coming off. You'd probably want to refinish these wheels. Not a big deal. Brake rotors look good. Calipers look good. It's a little bit of bug stuff that'll come right off there. Paint looks really good on this door. There is a tiny crack right here. You can kind of see it. Very small. But it is there. It looks good there. Back wheel, a little bit of curb rash right there. Other than that, it looks okay. Like I said, you'd want to probably refinish all four wheels, make it perfect. A little bit of uh, paint chipping right there. You've got a paint chip right there, right here and right here. Another tiny one right there. Not a big deal. Got a little bit of a nick right there. Coming to the back side, the tail lights have tint on them. It's a film, so I think you could peel it off if you don't want it on there. That underneath looks pretty good. It does have like a laser jammer and a backup camera. That all looks good. Underneath looks good. Coming up here, just looking for f major flaws in the paint. I'm not really seeing anything up here. Not really seeing anything there. We'll come down here. This wheel has some of the clear coming off a little bit, like the front left. So again, I'm going to get those redone. Coming up here, that looks pretty good. A little bit of wear right here, where the top goes on there. Well, that looks overall pretty good. No crack right there. I've seen that crack before on a Mercy. I don't know, maybe it's a stress point. It's not on this side, it's only on the other side. This side all looks really good. Nothing to note. This wheel actually looks pretty good with the exception of that little ding right there. Uh, tires are Pirelli P0s. Date code on this one is 2018. Date code on this is 2019. Um, also Pirelli P0. Date code on this one, 2019. And this one is gonna be 2018. You can see the tread on there. It looks plenty, plenty of tread. Those look pretty good the backs lots of tread some wide tires on this thing okay moving on to the front nothing to note on this fender the headlights look pretty good I don't see any crazy stuff on the headlights front bumper it's got a little dust and dirt here and there but I don't see there's a few tiny little rock chips right there couple tiny little guys but nothing major tiny little rock chip right there I don't see anything else on the hood this headlight looks pretty good if you see anything that I'm not catching feel free to comment on it that orange looks beautiful this cowling right here has a crack as you can see right here other side looks okay Move up along the windshield here. That looks pretty good on this side. It's pretty good right there. Okay, we'll move on into the interior. Really, you know, overall, not too bad. The paint's not in bad shape. You could use a paint correction. You gotta hit the unlock on the key there. All right. Interior door jams look pretty good. Here's your VIN tag. Let's go on to the other side and take a look.
door jam looks good. Nothing to note. Nothing to note there. Like I said a little bit of wear right here. A little bit of wear in the leather piece on the top, but not bad. Same on the other side, it's right where the top touches. <laughs> look at the seats. The seats look pretty good. We had these redone, so. Yeah, these wrinkles always look worse on camera, but it doesn't look that bad in person. But it looks pretty darn good. A little bit of stuff going on there. The rest of the leather looks pretty good. The reverse button is, um, you know, has a little paint coming off. Center console looks pretty clean. I don't really see anything to note. We had that all refinished, so that looks really good. There's that. Gauges look good. Steering wheel looks good. So this piece that goes along the top has some paint coming off and it looks like the top was misaligned a few times or something. So, you know, you may, if you wanted it perfect, you could replace that top piece. Probably not a huge deal. The dash leather is really good shape. It's not peeling or anything. A lot of these Mercy's peel up in that top corner. Uh, this one is not peeling at all. So it's in pretty good shape. All the vents are good. Um, aftermarket Alpine stereo. All the buttons look good. Door panel looks really good. Nothing to note. Let's go on over to the other side. This seat also looks phenomenal. Really good. The side of the dashboard looks really good. Nothing to note. The inside of the seat belt, like a little plastic piece that covers the hole is kind of coming apart. So there is that. Store panel looks pretty good. Leather over here looks really good. Door sill, everything's pretty nice. Clean this up, clean this car up really well. It cleaned, it cleaned up nice. Pop the engine bay. Struggle is real, I can't get my hand in there. There we go. It's the old V12. Pretty clean for being a, you know, what, six, 17 year old car? Nothing to note. I don't see anything crazy. Everything looks dry. We just did the plugs and everything, so that looks good. That all looks good. Oh, uh, there's a little paint right there. It's right where it hits right here. That's really, I mean, that happens on all of these. You could probably realign this, just bump this a little bit so it doesn't hit that and touch that up if you wanted to. Let's pop the frunk. It's a little, a couple of scrapes right there. There's your color tag. These struts are bad. Probably want to replace those. That's the convertible top. I'm not going to take it out. There's a battery tender in there as well. There it is. If you have any questions, leave a comment.